Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we did the What Wouldn't You Store uh, by crafting a wooden barrel, the Roll Out the Barrel by crafting a metal drum, and then we also did the uh, Auto Clicker, the Clicker Hero uh, by crafting an Auto Clicker. Uh, this episode, we are going to go and work on the I Like Big Box and I Cannot Lie, which is to craft a maximum size compact storage chest. And while we're at it, we're going to do the Baby Got Backpack, which is to craft a maximum size compact storage backpack so to do this we are first going to need to build ourselves a uh, chest builder now to build a chest builder it is simply a chest and a crafting table with two levers and six pieces of iron so we're going to take that out and we're going to come over here let's just go and place this in the world and if we open this up you can see there is a little bit of a gooey going on here uh, we've got a hue column uh, which is something that we can use to change the color uh, let's go and make this uh, red uh, and then we can choose the number of columns and the number of rows in the chest now this is going to depend on how many uh, resources it's going to take to build this item but the actual quest is to build a maximum size so we're going to take that column we're going to go all the way up to 24 and we're going to go all the way up to 12 rows so this is going to be an absolute massive chest uh, but to build it we're going to need 18 uh, wooden chests we're going to need 64 iron ingots we're going to need 64 oak fences and then four blocks of clay so I just happen to have all these items here handy for us right next uh, to this um, uh, the chest builder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chest. I'm just going to I'm just going to shift click them up. You can manually move them if you want. But there you go. These are all ready to go. And I'm just going to hit build. And there you go. We have got ourselves a compact chest. And we've got that advancement. I like big box and I cannot lie. So let's put this down here. And if we're going to open it up, you can see this is just a massive, massive storage chest. Uh, it's certainly a, a, a lot larger than, you know, any of the other chests, uh, you know, that we've got, you know, easily handy. And it is actually quite simple to build. There's nothing really complicated about the uh, chest builder. And, uh, you know, none of the ingredients were super, super difficult to get. But... If we want to go on and now work on these backpacks, these is this is a little bit more complicated of a, a process because we're going to need some plastic. Now, this is going to require us to build a couple of new items in our world. Uh, first off, we're going to, have to build ourselves a latex processing unit. Uh, to do that, we are first going to need a machine case. Uh, to build a machine case, it is simply a block of redstone, four wood planks, four iron ingots, and a crafting table gets us that machine case. Uh, we are also going to need a couple of iron gears. Iron gears are simply four iron ingots in a crafting table in that sort of diamond pattern there. Now we're going to take these two items, we're going to go put the machine casing in the middle of the crafting table with the iron gear, four iron ingots, two furnaces, and one uh, piece of redstone. That gets us a latex processing unit. So we're going to take this a latex processing unit, we're going to come over here and we're going to have to place it in our world. So let's place it right here and if we open it up you can see there's a couple of things we got to do to prep this. So we're going to need a source of power, we're going to need a source of water, and then we're going to need a source of latex. So the the source of water is going to be the easiest. I've set up a uh, infinite water supply here, whereas if I break this block, this block in the middle is going to be an infinite uh, supply of water. Uh, what I want to do is get that water into this uh, wooden barrel. This is very similar to what we did uh, last uh, episode with the lava. So I'm going to need to make myself some fluid extraction cables. Uh, to do that, it is simply four gold nuggets in a crafting table with a dropper and a weighted pressure plate. I'm actually going to make three of these because we are going to need to move a bunch of fluid around. Now, the trick with uh, getting water with these fluid extraction cables is you need to place the cable uh, on something solid and then place the liquid in there afterwards. So that's why I've got this block in the middle there. I'm just going to go place that fluid extraction cable. You can see it's hooked up to the block of wood. There's no connection there because a block of wood is not a fluid but if we, I go and break that and you can see it is starting to take that fluid and throw it into this uh, you know barrel here and it's starting to fill up so all I need to do now is take that extra fluid extraction cable put it on the barrel and it is going to start filling up this latex processing unit so there you go that is full uh, next up we're going to need a source of power so why don't we just go and place that uh, simple combustion generator there we've used this one a couple of different times and actually I need to fill it up with a little bit of wood 
and we're going to go take this fluid extraction or sorry no we're going to take this energy extraction cable and we're going to place that on there and we are now going to have some power into this unit so next up is going to be the latex and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab another stack of wood i think i grabbed it a little too much but that is not a problem uh, to make latex we're going to need a tree fluid extractor now to make a tree fluid extractor it is simply an iron gear uh, which we just made just a few minutes ago a furnace a piece of redstone and six blocks of stone. So we're going to take this uh, tree fluid extractor and let's say we put it right here. Now one thing to keep in mind, uh, you can open it up and you th there's not a whole lot going on in here, but the one thing you want to be aware of is this side here. This is the fluid extractor. So what we need to do is you need to take a piece of wood, and you need to place it in front of the fluid extractor and if we watch closely, this wood will start to break down and there you go so it's starting to break down that's not me breaking it that is the actual tree fluid extractor if we open this up there is a very little bit amount of latex coming into this uh, fluid extractor this is a slow process and you will have to replace these blocks of wood but there are ways of auto placing blocks as well that will work just as well but uh, what we need to do is get this latex from here into our latex processing unit so we're going to take that last fluid extracting cable and we're just going to place it on here and there you go you can see it is already making some uh, latex uh, we got these uh, tiny dry rubber um, pellets I guess is what they were and this you know it's slowly filling up as soon as it hits 60 or no I guess it's got to be like 75 there you go and there it's made another uh, one of those try it tiny dry rubber uh, I'm gonna call them a pellet so what we need to do is we need to wait while this is uh, you know filling up until we get enough plastic uh, to uh, do the uh, I believe it was 32 pieces of plastic and to do that we're going to need a number of those pellets so each one of those dry rubber pellets oh sorry no we've got to first use a nine a tiny dry rubber to make one dry rubber and then once we get that we can turn that dry rubber into a plastic so we're gonna need an absolute ton of this stuff guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break here we're gonna fast forward and I'll be right back okay guys so I am back and it is still taking quite a bit of time this is actually only my second log so i'm getting quite a bit out of it but um i'm still only about 38 of these tiny dry rubber uh pieces and let's just take these out and if we go i think I, this one here is empty um that gives us four <laughs> we get four dry rubber uh pieces uh we need 36 so we got quite a bit more to go uh what i'm gonna do is uh I'm going to try to automate this a little bit better. So what we're going to want to do first is to make ourselves a block placer. Now to make a block placer, uh, it is simply two pieces of stone with a dispenser, a piece of redstone, two iron ingots, and three pieces of cobblestone. And let's go take this out. And this is where this is going to get difficult because we cannot actually see from here. So if we go like... There we go. So that should be facing in the right direction. Uh, what we want to do now, the other thing I noticed, and oh, I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> I am such a dumb. This is in the wrong spot. Um, okay, so really, really quickly, let's just do this again. And it's got to come out from behind. This is actually a lot easier than I was thinking. So there we go. And I was did a little bit of research. These mineral wood are a little bit better. There's some e enriched mineral wood that is quite a bit quicker. Uh, or sorry, it produces quite a bit more. Uh, so this is going to help speed things up as well. Uh, it's still producing latex. You can see it is filling up quite a bit quicker than it was. So that's going to help. Okay, guys, so the sun is coming up and uh, I've, you know, started pre-making some of these uh, pieces of plastic. So all I need is one more look at that. That is perfect timing. So there we go. We're going to take those nine uh, tiny dry rubbers. We're going to put them into the crafting table to uh, make a dry rubber. We're going to take that. We're going to throw it into the furnace and that is going to make ourselves uh, some plastic. And this should be our last uh, recipe. I... Uh, I, did, I honestly, when I was thinking about it, when I was looking at it, I thought it was just the, uh, the dry plastic pellets that I needed. I completely forgot that I needed some other stuff. So, okay. So there we go. 36 pieces of plastic. 
We are also going to need a, a stack of iron, a stack of fences, and four pieces of leather. And so we're going to go one, two, three, and what was the other thing? Fences. There we go. So we've got our 36, 64, 64, and four. We're going to build that. And there we go. We have made ourselves a backpack. So baby's got backpack. We're going to come over here. We're going to go and right click it. And there you go. We've got ourselves uh, another inventory. This is like a portable inventory. So we can go and throw stuff in here and it stays in that backpack. We can, you know, drop it. We can pick it up. Uh, we can put it in other containers and all of those items just stay, you know, very, very handy. We take it back out. And we go and open that up and there we go there's all those items we put in there so uh very very handy very very useful but that is gonna be it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on twitter at jackal wolf uh also check out the description below there will be a link to my discord page i would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi but that is it i will see you guys next time goodbye